as we get to the right... No, not to the blower. We're not blowing things today, sorry to say. Actually, I'm glad to say, because I don't want to be the one who's doing the blowing. If I was getting blown... Oh, never mind. Okay, anyway. Um, why did I go that way? Oh, to get over here. Jeez. Okay, and then we gotta use it right here. Oh, wait, make sure he's straightened out before we make that jump. There we go. And we just get up on this thing right here, go to the top. Yeah, I'll probably stop it after... Stop talking about where you're gonna stop it and just do it. Whatever. What? How could I miss that? Oh, jeez, man. Wait, am I back on the... Okay, I must be on the stationary ground. You know, the original video I did of this in the stationary chair. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, boy. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> uh, I don't think I need to drop there. I think I need to keep going. What? The Wemo forgot where I was. I get a feeling I'm wrong going this way, but whatever. Actually, no, this is the right way. See, whoever designed this room is a freaking genius. Basically, you come up on this side of the wheel, and you have to flip the switch to turn the wheel the other way, so it doesn't roll you into the spikes, as you can see, now it's rolling the other way. But what you might not notice when you do that, because you're so glad you got to turn the wheel, you might not notice that it also changed the direction. Oh no, not these guys. These are like re-deads, basically. Yeah, but they don't necessarily grab you as, you know, excitedly as they do in Ocarina of Time, thankfully. So, what, it, what you might have noticed is that it changes the direction that this turns, too. You're like, well, how the heck do I make progress and this is turning against the way I want to go? Well, it's because this takes you in the pro... Uh, because by changing the direction of the wheel, you also change the direction so that it could take you over here to change the wheel back to its original direction that it was going, because you're not going to need it anymore, so it doesn't matter that it's taking you into the spikes anymore. But now it's changed the direction that the giant circular column is going, so it'll take you where you need to go. I don't know, there's just something about this room, it's so... I didn't get it the first time I played it, I was like, I didn't get what I was doing to make progress, and now that it makes sense, it's kind of like, wow, that was pretty smart. And in terms of video game design, I could not have come up with any... I could not have come up with anything like that. Oh, hey, look. Huh. Lots of noises and battery explosions and just general haberdashery. So we can turn this here. There's not really much of a reason to do this in case... I mean, it's just in case you die, and you have to start over from when you first come down here. And then you can just take the water shortcut straight up here from the beginning, so... This is interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah. You can't swing yourself up any faster, but here's what happens. On your way up the rope, they start following you. And it's pretty much inevitable they're gonna get to you, and you can't really help that. So you just gotta shake them off and keep going. I'd actually be able to avoid this second one, I don't know. Yeah, this is something that you're probably not gonna forget very soon. This is something when you look back on it ten years later, it's like, yeah, that was awesome, that moment. But it just doesn't seem awesome now, because now is not awesome. Now is never as awesome as the past is. So they basically tell you flat out what to do here, so return the stone giant to its original form, and descend along the... You know, because the stone giant actually blocked us from getting to the treasure chest when it went down. So what you have to do is move it back up so you can get to the treasure chest. And now that you have a way to get back down there, by going back down the rope, you can get the key that way. So I can see why someone might not think of that right off the bat, though. That's why they felt compelled to, you know, advise people on what to do here. So move the statue back up. Open the way to the key. The big key. The boss key. Those eyes, man, they're so scary. Okay, so, uh, yeah. And you can jump this if you want. Uh, you don't have to climb back down the rope. It'll just take you... It'll make you appear on the rope, and then you can just go from there. So this time, we'll take the shortcut. Yeah. Or, well, we'll take the... the way back to the beginning that acts as a shortcut if you started from the beginning. Here we go. You got the blessed idol. This carved balloon statue looks like it's supposed to inspire gratitude. It also looks like the stone statue on the upper floor. Oh no! And the statue's coming down. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, all those re-deads get crunched under the statue. Crunched. 
Well, maybe not. It's flat, and the surface down there is, like, concave. So you might not think this is the way to go, but actually, yeah, just go right in the door. And take this to the top, and you're done. I didn't... I honestly didn't think this was going to go by this fast. Because when I was practicing this, it took at least an hour. So we need to open up all these switches, since we didn't do it before. There was really no reason to do it before. Unless you knew already that the... Well, I mean... Because if you did it originally, you'd find out what was at the top, but Fi already told us, so... What's the big deal? So here we go. Uh, so we're going to turn this upside down here. And this should get us right. There we go. Whoosh! Nice looking flower. It goes along with all the other ecologically sound things going on in this temple. Jeez, what door is this? You have no idea. <laughs> At least you think you don't, but... Actually, that door was above us. It was the ceiling. And now we can go through to the top. And guess what? We must whip it. No, you must use B. I never know which order to press these in. To, like, lock on first, or press B to bring out the whip first, or, I don't know. Or swing first, I don't know. Bling, bling, bling. And that will take us to the boss, y'all. The boss gauntlet in Mega Man 1 is so hard, I hate it. Especially because of Fireman. That's a long neck right there. It's like that one funny picture. Never mind. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, alright, I guess we're done. Make sure you don't fall back down if you need hearts. Yeah. I guess I'll save. I mean, I don't. I'm not worried about this boss, but at the same time, I never want to. I don't want to take any chances. It's like, jeez, I shouldn't be concerned about this because this boss is really easy. <laughs> easy. So that when I say a boss is easy, I go in there and I just mess it all to hell. And then I'm like, oh no, and everybody's gonna think I suck. And yeah, I do suck, but I don't want people to know that. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Oh great, what are you doing here in your sexy pose? You certainly are persistent. Oh wait, no. I'm terribly busy trying to find the clues that will make me revive the Demon King. What? Your incessant buzzing around my head like some irksome gadfly when I'm this busy is... Well, it's making me very disagreeable. Yeah, snap your fingers. You all do that. Jeez, man. Oh god, it's a heart. It's the Red Falcon. You know what the Red Falcon is? It's the final boss in Contra. Now you know. And knowing it's half the battle. G.I. Joe! Alright. <clears throat> yeah, this, this guy is not nearly as bad as he looks. In fact, he's probably... He takes a while, but it's not too bad. We'll do it. We'll handle it just fine. So, make sure you have your whip out. Stay locked onto him. And listen for the sound. It sounds like sort of like breathing in or something. Well, not that. Sometimes he does that, too. Um, there we go. That's that's what we want. Once he kneels down, he gets stuck in the ground and whip on his joints and pull him out. And bam, he goes nuts. So, stay locked on here. Is he going to throw the axes again? You never know when he's going to do that. Yeah, he is. And eventually, you can get him to break the columns, and there's hearts in those. Kind of like an Ocarina of Time in the Spirit Temple. Oops, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, he's doing it again. Holy crap. Bam. Well, whoa, okay, all right, you came around for another pass. I didn't see that coming. All right, why do you keep doing that, man? It's really hard for me to concentrate when you're doing that. Lift one arm. Maybe I just need to get closer. I mean, he's probably doing that because I'm far away. He's using a range attack because I'm far away. So here. There we go. Yeah, just like that. That is so fun. I'm never going to know how fun that is. Okay, he's gonna give me two at once here? Nice. Okay, put the whip away. Now that his heart is exposed, we can just go in and jack! Jack, 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 jack! Jack, jack, jack! No, I don't care if he hits me, I just wanna keep jacking! Huh. <laughs> yeah, it's only gonna let you hit him so many times. Sorry if my microphone like goes crazy. Because my arm is like touching the wire that the microphone is hanging from. It's like, well, it's actually a headset. It's a Logitech USB headset. That's what microphone I use. People ask me that all the time. 
It's pretty funny. Because <laughs> I don't think my sound quality is actually that great, but to tell you the truth, I wish I had like one of those, like the microphone that Chuggo uses for the Runaway guys. That thing is awesome. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Come on, Cletus, come on! Come on! Yeah, that's right. I didn't have my whip out all that time. I bet you were wondering if I was ever going to pull it out. Ah, I tried to jump, but I was too slow. If he hits you, he's not going to get stuck in the ground, so... Yeah. There we go. Two more, come on. I'm not actually doing that well. Ugh, alright. One arm out, the other arm out. Put the whip away, grab the sword. And Jack! 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 You don't know Jack! Oh, was that it? That's all I had to do? It's like he's surrendering. He's got his hands in the air, but wait. Maybe not. Are we going to the second phase yet? Yeah, thank god. Yeah, the second phase is way cooler. Yeah, this may seem like a boring boss so far, except for the exciting joint displacement, but... Man, we got some serious crap coming up here. So... What are you, what are you gonna do? Alright, do it! Alright, that's right. Okay, and when you do that, it zooms in on the sword, for a very specific reason. Because you can pick up the sword, and run around with it, and like... What? Oh, well, if it hits you, it drops it. But you can actually pick it up and actually swing it. And if you get right next to him and swing it sideways, you knock his legs out. And he's totally helpless, and he just go great. Are you even locked onto him, boy? Seriously? You have to swing a little slower, because obviously the sword is very heavy. That's only gonna let you hit him three times, but <laughs> it's enough. I guess if you were brave enough, you could just go right in for the legs right away, but well, no, because he gets all the swords back. And then he does this crap right here. So while he's doing this, maybe try to lure him into one of the columns and you can get hearts out of it. But at this point, you're more likely to get hit than anything. And I'm pretty sure the hearts will stay there for a while. Let's try yeah, there we go. Let's hit to worry about. And then he starts spawning redeads, so it's like great. I just ignore the redeads. That's what I do. You know. It's really hard to tell if you're gonna get hit when he comes down with all three of them. So. Yeah, all we need is one sword. So. All right, let's get away, get away, get away. You can also use the big sword to take out the redeads if you want. But. Shit, he is. Crappyola. Yeah. Okay, here he comes, here he comes. Here we go. Oh, shit. He hit me before I could... Oh, he's on me, man. Get off of me, freaking redhead. Ah, oh, he did it again. Freaking redhead. Okay, yeah, spawn some more. Why not? There's not enough of them running around here as it is. Is there a sword over here? Yeah, there is. Okay. It's not the same one I was just using, though. Well, we could just do this. It's not as much range as it looks like it would be, so... Shit, a freaking redhead is in the way. I'm telling you, this boss is easy and I'm freaking it up. Uh, screw the arms, just go for the legs. There we go. Thank you! No, keep swinging. You gotta get used to a whole new rhythm of swinging here. It's just because you got a giant sword doesn't mean you're invincible here. And of course, he's not done yet. They only have to hit him three times. You only have to hit him seven times. So the fact that you can only hit him three times kind of sucks. It's like, if you could just get one more hit in on one of those rounds, you'd be done with him even sooner. You probably can hit him more than three times if you're fast enough, but... Obviously, I'm not, so... Come on, Cletus, come on! Cletus! Alright, if you want to do that, I'll just run over the other side of you. There. Now what you got? You can hit me if you want, I don't even care. Ugh, yeah, three for three. Alright. Ugh. I mean, thank goodness he can still run at normal pace with a sword. You can't... Ugh, you can't, like, dash, but he can run. Is he doing that again? Okay, look out. Here he goes. Yeah, that's right. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought I had him. <laughs> what just happened there? I, I didn't even see what happened. 
Oh, thanks for actually turning towards me so I could hit you, boy. I couldn't make that any easier, could they? I mean, that didn't look easy, uh, but it really is not that bad. Bzzz. What was that again? I guess getting that extra piece of heart helped. It might have saved me, I didn't see, if I was down to one heart. Last I saw, I was down to three, but... <laughs> So, whatever. Beep. I was down to three, okay. So I didn't even need that hard piece at all, what the hell? <laughs>